physicist Lee Smolin from the Perimeter Institute, um, he has proposed this notion that you can reduce space to time. So this spatial separation is actually at the root level, if Lee is correct, uh, temporal separation. Yes. And then the difficulty of seeing another as yourself disappears. It, the other is you in the same sense that uh, your past self was you and your future self will be you. So a, another self in space is just like your past self of your future self or, or your future yes. self. It's still you. And this idea came to my mind for the first time. I was still a child and I watched my father play chess against himself. Uh, because, you know, before the time of computers and engines, if you were a chess student, that's that's how you did it. So my father <clears throat> would play a move with white, and then stand up, go to the other side of the table, and then play a move with black, and then stand up and go to the other side. So the way I pictured it was the following. If I could chop off the moment in which my father was on the black side, and chop off the moment in which my father was on the white side, and then sew together all the whites, and sew together all the blacks, then it's still my father, but now my father is truly playing against himself in parallel timelines. Yes. See what I mean? Yes. And, yes. and, and, and one way to understand why I am you, and you are Simon, and everybody's one, is this chop it up down to an infinitesimal microscopic level and then sew these together in a self-consistent way and then i am you for the same reason that my father was playing was playing black and white but when you chop it off and sew together the whites um, my father playing white in that parallel timeline would have the impression that he was always playing white because the experience of playing back black was chopped off and the surrounding experience of, of, of playing white were sewed together. So there would be a continuity in the white and a continuity in the black. So my father playing white would say, I'm the one playing white, I'm not the guy playing black because I have this continuity in this timeline yeah. in which I've been playing black all along. And the guy playing black or white, whatever, would have the same thought but it's both my father. Um, and Bernard um, is, a, is trying to formalize this mathematically in, mo in the form of multidimensional time. And it's the best game in town for us to have this understanding of the unity of consciousness from a rigorous scientific uh, perspective. Uh, hopefully, Bernard will have... And this is a project for more than one lifetime. Um, hopefully, Bernard will get uh, people who will continue this um, after him. I mean, he has the pedigree. He was Stephen Hawking's very first graduate student. Um, he lived with Stephen Hawking when Stephen started getting ill. I mean, there's an actor that plays Bernard Carr in the movie, uh, uh, The Theory of Everything. He has the pedigree, so he he's impossible to not take seriously. Um, so hopefully he can cultivate this, this this respect he has uh, to attract people that can give follow-up to the work he's doing.